Welcome back to the Sovereign Ratio. Today I need to do an emergency Bitcoin update because of what the market's doing right now. Bitcoin has gone up quite a bit further than I thought it would on this complacency shoulder or double top, or maybe it's not one of those at all. I'm going to show you some things today. I don't have the answers, but I can at least help you have some data to make your own decisions. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave me a comment below. First thing we're actually going to look at is current open interest. You can see that Bitcoin is sitting at $47,472 right now with a total open interest of $12.725 billion. Now one thing I want to note is if I just put my cursor over here, you can see that Bitcoin has not had an open interest of this magnitude since approximately August of 2021. Back here in 2020, late 2021, it got close to it a couple of times, and both of those points led to down moves in the market. But if we just kind of put our cursor there, you can see very clearly the last time that it was above this was actually right here, but the last time that it ran up to that was in September of 2021, right here at this peak. Now, the other thing I want to mention about open interest, you can see that from this point here, where Bitcoin was at $49,000, the open interest level was around 12.2 billion. And right now the interest level is at 12.9 billion, just under $13 billion. And price is actually down. So there is a bit of a hidden bearish divergence as far as price is concerned to open interest is concerned. And the last time that I saw that happened, there was a move down, but of course that's not guaranteed. That's just what I'm seeing on the chart. The next thing that I wanna look at is just simply the volume profile. You can see that back here in the bear market, there was a lot of volume right here. The candles are huge. A lot of trading was happening. As we've progressively gone up, the volume has slowly decreased. Now there was a lot of volume here when Bitcoin ran up to 49,000, but right now there's really not a significant amount of volume to me. But however, something interesting is if we change to CME futures, there is more volume here than there is on the retail chart. You can see right there, there's a pretty big difference. To me, what I'm seeing is a move driven by leverage and open interest and not a move driven by retail buying and actual coins being traded. So to me, that still is a little bit of concern. Now, I wanna tell you guys, I've given you the best probabilities that I can. And if Bitcoin does do something different this time than it's done in the past, then I take full accountability for that. But just know that I gave you the best probabilities that I could with this being either a complacency shoulder or a double top. What I'm really looking for for invalidation is Bitcoin to go above 48,550 on a one day close for total invalidation of what I've been saying and Bitcoin doing something completely different this time, possibly running up to like 52, 53K or something like that. However, I'm remaining where I am until I see a daily close above 48,550. Now a daily close above 46,300 is relatively concerning to me but I'm gonna wait it out and see what happens because if we go back in the chart, let's look at the weekly chart real quick. If we scroll back on, let's go to the Coinbase chart and scroll back. Again, we've done this in the past. If we run a Fibonacci here from the top of that peak to the bottom here, you can see that the last time in the last cycle, Bitcoin ran up into that golden pocket and then about two weeks later, it actually had a huge move back up almost to where it went before, like it was at 13.8 and then it made a secondary move up to 13.1 before the actual correction started. And here, if we do the exact same thing, you can see that again, Bitcoin ran up into the golden pocket right here on this 49K move, and it is slowly making its way back up. Now, there is a little bit of a topping tail starting to form, but it's very early in the day. I'm not really counting on that as anything, but the daily close should give us some more information to go off of. But it's very possible that Bitcoin could be doing the same thing that it did last cycle, where it had a huge peak and then ran up very close to that again before the actual correction started. Something else to take note of is that Bitcoin dominance is on its way up. It's bounced off of this trend line that we've established right here, currently sitting at 53.53%, with my ultimate target for this being around 58% at the 1618 of the last move. And also the top of that box that I have drawn is at the 2618 of the last move at 62%. I don't foresee it getting all the way up to 62% again. I think 58% is a, is a great place for Bitcoin dominance to go. And the most important thing to remember is that Bitcoin dominance can continue to go up regardless of what price does. So if people sell profits of altcoins into Bitcoin, 
even if price goes down, Bitcoin dominance is going up because people are holding more Bitcoin. Now, that makes sense because if people sell altcoins at a huge gain and put it into Bitcoin, if there is a subsequent drop after that, Bitcoin is going to come down much less than altcoins are. So if there is a correction, altcoins can go down 50, 60, 70 percent. Bitcoin might go down to 30 or 40 percent. So in the end, if you're not establishing a position in USDT or USDC, you're still up 20 percent off of what you've done, even if you're at a loss or even if your coins are even if your Bitcoin is going down, you're still 20 percent ahead of everybody that's holding altcoins. Now, a couple other interesting pieces of data that I have here. This is total three. And you can see that total three has gone back above this established trend line, which for me is very interesting. I was not expecting that because we've seen weekly closes hitting right at that trend line and then closing below. Now we have one that's clearly established above it. Now that doesn't mean that the week is going to close that way, but altcoins are doing something very interesting here that I was not expecting. So you can see clearly it's moving up right now. But the interesting thing about that is, is if we go back to my custom created chart, which is total three minus USDT divided by Bitcoin. I've showed this chart many times in the past, and this is a representation of altcoins against Bitcoin, essentially. And in the past, we've seen in the pre-halving cycle, that value has come down here to the 0.25 area and bounced off of it several times. And those were historically the best places to DCA altcoins before the halving. We haven't even seen that yet, and the halving is getting very close. However, as Bitcoin is moving up today, this value is dropping, obviously, because Bitcoin's going up. But it was at 0.46 yesterday, and now we're at 0.44, almost to 0.43. So if there is a correction and altcoins bleed against Bitcoin, we would expect this to come down much further. And then that would be an excellent DCA position. Now, again, this is speculative, and this is based off Bitcoin actually doing what it's done in the past forming a complacency shoulder and then going down to test support and resistance levels, which currently sit at between 32 and 36 K. Another thing to note here is Ethereum versus Bitcoin. You can see that there was a bit of a fake out here on Ethereum moving up and altcoins moving up with it. And then a slam right back down as Bitcoin started to move up. This value came back down and is now within trend again. You can see that's the second time that it's tried to break out of trend and simply can't do it. So in my opinion, things are not looking good here for Ethereum, not necessarily versus USD. That remains to be seen. But Ethereum versus Bitcoin is looking very poorly right now. And if it tre if it tests this trend line here, this box that we have established, you know, that would be the fourth touch of that. And I could definitely see that that value coming back down here to the 0.04 level, which would be also bad for altcoins, at least versus Bitcoin. We don't know what price is going to do. But Bitcoin right now, def if you're going to hold anything right now, to me, Bitcoin looks like the thing to hold. I really don't see this magnificent alt run that people are talking about. But again, there is some contradictory information here on total three where altcoins are moving back up again. Another interesting thing is that we've just had the US open for markets and you can see that price is starting to reverse. Now, I think here in the next couple of hours, we're going to see some more decisions being made as far as price is concerned. I'm actually in a short on altcoins right now and it's in profit. Now, there are some altcoins that I would not be in profit on, like Rune is up right now. Let's just take a quick look at those, actually, and see what's up. You've got Cody, uh, which I hold a spot position in right now. You've got uh, VR, which is one of the coins that I plan on getting if price does go down more. But bigger coins, you've got uh, Rune is up 12%. Elephium is up 10%. Tau is up 10%. Tau has just been a workhorse. Look at this Tau chart. It just, it just can't be stopped. It went up to 520 bucks. Uh, Illuvium is up 8%. AIOZ is up 8%. Fetch AI is up 8%. Injective is up 8%. Now, one interesting thing that I will note is a coin that has seemingly been unstoppable for the longest time is Celestia. If I go to Celestia here, we will see something fairly interesting in my opinion. Celestia has actually basically stopped here for the first time in a long time. Um, I thought it was going to do a little bit of a double top right here. It actually went a little bit further, but there's a pretty big slam candle right here, sending price back down below that trend line. And this is the first time where Celestia has not had a higher high. It's just been the most beautiful chart that you've ever seen. Higher high, higher high, higher high, higher high. But finally, we have something that's starting to look like a rounding top here, which means that Celestia could actually have the correction that it's needed for a long time, probably to the tune of 50%, but we'll run this fib here. You've got the 61865 golden pocket sitting between 880 and 940. 
and then you've got another area of interest here around the $11, $12 area. So around $12 and around $10 are the two areas I'd be looking to pick up Celestia. From here, that is a 40% drop and a 50% drop. Whenever Bitcoin makes a pre-having correction, I like to say anywhere between 50 and 70%. So for me right now, that $10 area is looking really juicy for Celestia. I think that's a very safe spot. The other interesting thing is you've also got this point right here right below $10 where there was a massive wick down. And generally price likes to revisit those kind of crazy wicks like that at some point or another. So for me, that would be the place to pick that up. And back to Bitcoin here, there's just a couple of things that I wanna note. Let's look at some technicals. So you can see that the stock, the ultimate stochastic RSI has printed an overbought signal and it's also starting to curve down. It's been up in the top of the range for quite a while as has the regular stock RSI. A break of this regular stock RSI and a close below 80 would signal to me that there is going to be some downside. Also, the RSI has just been in this bullish divergence for quite a while. You can see from here to here, we draw a trend line here, we draw a trend line here. There's some bullish divergence that played out with that move down to 38K. And until Bitcoin is able to reclaim and go above that 49K level, I think that divergence is still in play, especially since what we're seeing right now, if we delete those two lines we just made and look at this, we've got a price movement down here, but we've got an RSI movement that's flat and that is a medium hidden bearish divergence. So that would also signal some weakness right now in the market, but again, Things are just so crazy right now with this pre-having pump. It's hard to say what's gonna happen and Bitcoin could do something that it's never done before and head back up to 52K or something. Um, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm not playing it that way, but if it does, I'm prepared for that to happen. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave me a comment below. Today's close is very important. Please keep an eye out on it and be safe in your trades. We'll see you in the next video.